What's up guys, welcome to General Hospital MV, my GH after show. I'm keeping it brief again this week. Long story short, I had the worst Sunday ever, and the stuff that happened Sunday carried on to Monday, and now it is Monday night. So let's talk about this quickly. So last week, Carly showed up at Michael and Nell's wedding, tried to stop it, was kind of successful, not really, more on that later. Ava called the cops, and Carly got carried back to Ferncliff, and Mary Pat took revenge on Carly by over-medicating her. Apparently Kevin is out of town visiting his wife whose name GH will not mention for some reason. Show of hands, who thinks Mary Pat is just as certifiable as the patients she claims to have? Maybe she's just as crazy as Nell. Before the wedding could continue, Nell had cramps, possibly fake ones, I don't know. Nell was taken to the hospital, but she insisted on having the wedding that night inside the hospital room. So they did it, they're married, woohoo! Throughout the week, Michael and Nell played their dangerous game of cat and mouse, and Nell has heard certain things that Michael wanted her to hear and possibly other things, I'm not sure. Honestly, the storyline has dragged out for so long that I'm so over it. I'm not really paying attention, you guys. Speaking of storylines that have been taken forever, Peter is now on Spoon Island with Nina and Albrecht. Nina tried to set him free, but Albrecht caught them. She basically decided to burn Peter alive in the barn, and she almost took Nina out with him. Don't worry, Valentine figured out that the West Nile virus wasn't actually on Spoon Island because no one would totally guess that at all. Valentine got Nina out, of course. And since it is Monday, and I did watch Monday's show, Peter got out alive too. I know that there does seem to be a light at the end of this tunnel for the Peter storyline, but we still have Anna MIA at the moment. And she's probably going to be MIA for the whole summer because Finola Hughes is on vacation. But anyway, let's backtrack to last week again and talk about the only scenes that kind of made me feel anything last week. Mike's condition with Alzheimer's is clearly getting much, much worse. He doesn't even recognize Sonny anymore. He didn't recognize Felix. It was definitely a hard scene to watch. I mean, those scenes were done brilliantly by all the actors involved. The sad reality is that Alzheimer's is a real thing, and we're gonna have to watch this to the bitter end, and it's gonna be rough to see whatever Sonny chooses to do with Mike next. Honest to God, that's pretty much it when it comes to last week's GH. And in full disclosure, GH is a real bloody mess right now. I must admit that I am not really enjoying GH right now. It has definitely been worse than it is, but it's in pretty bad shape. Between how some of these storylines are dragging out endlessly, like the Nell storyline and the Peter storyline, and just a lot of blatant things being overlooked on the show overall, it's it's getting really tiring. It's actually getting hard for me to do GHMV and be like excited about the show all the time. That being said, the show isn't bad enough that I'm wanting to quit. It's only ever been that bad for me once and it was back in like 2013-14 when all the characters were being completely written out of character. I actually did stop watching briefly in that era. I only came back once I heard that Ron Carlovati was getting fired, honestly. But yeah, even Monday's episode when Margot found that envelope of Drew Kane's on the side of her couch, I was like, Okay, so you're telling me that the entire PCPD forensics team, Jason and Anna, and Sam and Curtis all missed the big ass envelope sitting on the side of the couch? Come on, us viewers can only suspend belief so far. I mean, the writing is atrocious at this point. I mean, I just want the Nell storyline to be done, and the Peter storyline to be done, and to just move on to new things. And I want the breakdown writers to actually focus on detail so that we don't have to shake our heads every time we see stuff like that. It's just like, ugh. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to. I will keep doing these videos as long as I can. I will catch you guys next time.